friends, my name is Paolo de Alba and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. As we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family, we remember our own families and what the Lord has done for us and through us. Allow me to read from the Gospel for today in Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 to 15 and 19 to 20. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said to the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up. Take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, for those who will try to kill the child, to take the child's life, are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he had heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been born in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets that he would be called a Nazarene. Get up. When I was a child, it was difficult for me to get up simply for school. <laughs> Such a struggle for me to get up in the morning to go to school, to get dressed, to take a shower, to go to school. There was even a time when my mom would even dress me up just so that I would be late. When I was laying in bed, she would dress me up just so that I won't be late for school. Get up. It's very difficult for me, at least. I don't know for you. And as we look back in the story of the Holy Family, in their struggle of being displaced, having to move here and there, and the Lord will instruct them through angels, get up. And they would simply get up and move. For us, as we look back in our year, especially this year, in the past two years during the pandemic, so many struggles that we went through, financial difficulty, um, relationship difficulty, sickness and health difficulties, relationship and family difficulties. It's so hard to get up sometimes from these struggles, from these downfalls in our lives. But that's what the Lord's instruction for us. To continue to live our lives, we need to get up. We need to move. To get up means to wake up. Sometimes we just want to sleep and let the nightmare pass. But the Lord instructs us to get up. Because God has a plan for our lives. When you look at the story of the Holy Family, it seems like there's so many struggles that you look at it and say, it's about this, is this the plan of the Lord for them? And when we look at our lives, is this really the plan of the Lord for me? So many struggles, so many difficulties. But the Holy Family continued to trust and obey God. For He knows His plans for us. And His plans are for the good of those who love Him. And when we look at the story of the Holy Family, the Lord uses angels to speak to them. And as we look forward into the coming year, let's reflect on how has the Lord spoken to me? For some people, it's through dreams. For some people, it's whispers in their ear, in their thoughts. For some people, God uses other people to speak to them. So let's reflect on how God speaks to us. That way, we may be able to hear him and also find out what is he asking me to obey? What is God asking me to get up from? What are these struggles that the Lord is asking me to, hey, wake up, get up? Is it personal insecurities? Is it sadness, loneliness, financial difficulties, work difficulties, relationship difficulties? Where is God asking you to wake up and get up?
And for this coming year, I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. I pray as you look back, you see how God has worked in your life. Similarly, how He has guided the Holy Family. And I pray for the new year that you will be able to have the trust to obey the Lord in what He's asking you to do. Because in obedience, joy comes. May you have a prosperous new year, a blessed new year. God bless you.